Hello, my name is David Galen, product manager for the Coleman Mock and Max Air brands, both Air Excel companies. Today, we're going to talk about how to properly install the Coleman Mock Aftermarket Soft Start. The benefits of installing this aftermarket soft start is that it does reduce the current on the compressor by up to 75%. This is ideal for when running on generator power or when off-grid powering your air conditioner through a battery system. The other benefit to this is that it does not void the warranty of your Coleman Mach air conditioner. Now, let's jump into the installation. Before we start, Coleman Mach recommends that a qualified licensed technician install this product. The tools we're going to use for this installation for safety, safety glasses and gloves to protect from cuts with sharp sheet metal edges. I'll be using a cordless drill with a Phillips driver, wire strippers, needle nose, and wire cutters. To install the aftermarket soft start, you will be required to work on the roof of the RV. For purposes of this video, we will be recording the installation in the training room in Wichita, Kansas. Contained within the aftermarket soft start, we provide you with Installation instructions, sealant as needed, small parts package, the actual soft start device itself, as well as the mounting bracket. So we'll be doing this soft start installation on a 48,000 and or 45,000. For this installation, it's specifically a 48,000. Uh, so we will be pre-installing the metal bracket and the soft start prior to getting onto the roof. To do that, we'll take our soft start, peel off the adhesive on the back, take our metal bracket, set it here and place the soft start in place. Then using the four small screws provided, we'll attach the soft start to the metal bracket. We're now ready to move up onto the roof to install the soft start. Uh, prior to getting started on the actual installation of the soft start unit on the AC unit, we need to make sure that we turn the thermostat to the off position and turn off the breaker to this AC unit. Uh, the first step, once we're up on top of the roof, is we'll use our cordless drill. Uh, you possibly could have four shroud screws on the top, or you're going to have two shroud screws on the top two on the bottom back half. Uh, we'll use our cordless drill. We've already loosened these for this video. Remove the shroud screws here. Remove the shroud screws in the back. We'll now slightly pull forward and lift up on the front end to remove the shroud and set aside. We're going to be removing these two screws from the side panel. Save the screws as we're going to reuse those. Our soft start unit will now install back in place. Using my wire cutters, I'm gonna carefully cut the wire ties that came on the uh, soft start for shipment. And discard those. And we're gonna route these wires underneath the fan motor, behind the rear bracket, and just lay them to this side for the moment. Our next step is to remove the electric box cover. 
uh, by removing these two lower screws. To make it easier to get the box cover out, we can back this top screw out without removing it completely. Then just pull the box door out and set it on top. Next, we're going to need to push the wires through this grommet. So we'll remove the water bar that's attached. And we'll push our wires through one at a time. If you have a four or 5,000 series unit, this grommet that I'm pushing the wires through actually is a strain relief. You will need to remove that strain relief and discard. We provided a, a grommet to go back in its place. Now that we've got the wires pulled in, the next step is that this particular unit does not have a hard start kit, so there's not a start capacitor, PTCR, does not have a high pressure switch. So we do have units that could have a hard start kit or a high pressure switch. This is all addressed in the installation instructions. If you do have a hard start kit, you need to remove that start capacitor, that PTCR, and you'll need to readjust the capacitor strap to make sure the capacitors are tight. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this white wire from our run capacitor, which is going to the compressor. We'll remove that. We're going to cut the end off and strip this wire back so we can use a wire net on it. With the wire net provided, we'll connect the white wire from the soft start to the white wire of the compressor in this box. Twist this on. The start capacitor, or the, I'm sorry, the soft start also comes with a yellow and red wire. We're gonna push the yellow wire onto the run capacitor, same side as the yellow wire that was there. We're gonna push the red wire onto the run capacitor to the same side as the red wire. Next step, we have a purple and black connected with a crimp net. We're going to cut these two wires and remove that crimp net. We need to strip the black wire from the compressor. We need to strip the purple wire coming from the nine pin wire harness. And we need to find the black wire coming from the soft start we just added. Cut the terminal off. Since we do not have a pressure switch relay, or if this was a heat pump, we do not have an outdoor freeze board. We'll strip that wire, and then using a wire nut provided, we will connect the black from the compressor, the purple from the nine pin wire harness, and the black from the aftermarket soft start and wire nut these wires together. We'll need to reapply, if we're able to reuse the water bar around the wires, making sure to seal this so that any rainwater cannot get into the wire box. And then we're ready to put our electric box door back in place using the screws we removed earlier. And we'll 
we'll tighten up this top corner screw. Now we need to use a wire tie provided to tie the soft start wires to the motor wires so that we don't have any wires touching hot copper moving parts and then cut off the excess tie. And at this point, we're ready to put the rooftop shroud back on. On this installation we just completed, we're now ready to Turn the 115 volt breaker back onto the AC and turn the thermostat on. We did show you how to properly install the Coleman Mach aftermarket soft start onto specifically on this, a 48000 series air conditioner without a high pressure switch. This also installs on a 45000 series and a 47000 series, air conditioners and heat pumps. These installations are addressed within the instructions. Again, the benefits of this aftermarket soft start is that we can reduce that starting current of the compressor by up to 75%. It's ideal when running on generators or boondocking running off battery power. This also does not void the warranty of your AC. Coleman Mock does recommend that a qualified service technician do this installation. This product and a variety of other Coleman Mock climate control accessories can be found at a local retailer or dealer near you. We want to thank you for watching this video, for using our trusted products, and we wish you well on your next adventure. Thank you.